starts the Southern Maryland Guitar Guru Show, featuring Dan Harsha and Dan Allman. This week's show, we're highlighting the latest in music, life, and we culture. Through different eyes. Yo, 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 this is Dan Harsha, and this is the Guitar Gurus, and with me always is... Dan Alban here. How you doing tonight, bud? Oh, man, I'm excited to be here. I'm loving life. We're rolling through the weekly episodes. We've had just so much energy from the listeners. I, I'm excited, man. Yeah, man. Um, check how this. are you doing? <laughs> man, check this out. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That's how I'm doing tonight. Popping the ollies. That's right, man. I, you sound congested, man. What's up? Yeah, it's a little rough right now. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's I'm not sick. I, I very rarely get sick. That's true. It's all this freaking pollen, man. Yeah, it's pretty it's bad got right me. now. It's got a hold on me. Yeah. It's in my it's in my eyes, my face. It's all everywhere. I'm I'm clogged up, man. I was starting to get a sore throat on the drive over here this evening and I was like, "Oh no, this isn't going to be good." But thanks to Ollie's, uh, my th- my throat is no longer dry. <laughs> yeah, man, when so. you came in, man, you made a beeline, man. You are like, oh, "Where's yeah. that?" I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, I, I know where to go first. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't sound check before the episode with it you know without having at least two or three you know just to be sure but yeah that's really kicking my butt man that whole pollen thing it sucks oh man i'll tell you i i, I live off allegra right now mm. <laughs> all right yeah <laughs> if, if, if i get drug tested at work it's gonna come back that i got a, an allegra d problem <laughs> now i don't even use the d anymore i just do straight allegra so. yeah <laughs> You don't take the D anymore. It's yeah, man. It's it's not good for you long term. But no, dude, I'm an I'm a long time allergy sufferer. And yeah, I, I I've just learned a long time ago. Just take two of them. You know, one in the morning and one during during oh, the day. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't care. It's a 24 hour pill, but I take it twice a day. You know, that's what you need. That's su- who knows, man. I'm not suffering. No, good. You don't want to suffer. And <laughs> if, I, I, if I'm going out, I'm going out on the Allegra, <laughs> on the Allegra kit, man. I've never understood it, man, because I didn't have any allergies at all to any of this pollen until maybe about five years ago. Yeah, that's the government. It's weird. Yeah. I never had any issues growing up. <laughs> now it's like my eyes, you know, they're all like puffy and red, and I can't keep my fingers out of them, rubbing them, and... Yeah, it's, man. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get back on track. <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, Enough I'm, of us complaining like a bunch of old guys. Right, exactly. Thanks to Ollie's, we're all better now because mm-hmm. we're popping these things. Yeah, no more sore throat. <laughs> nice. Well, dude, last week's show, before we get into all what's going on there tonight, let's talk about last week's show, man. Yeah. Uh, what, how cool was that, man? It was a great show. Amy Lloyd came on, told us about herself and what she does, and that was very interesting. It was extremely interesting. And and she's promoting a show for us, man. So. I see that, and we love that, you know? It's a mutual thing. You come on, and you promote, and you get your name out there, and you get people that may not know you. They know you now. Right. And... and, and Man, it was just really cool talking to her. Yeah. And, and just hearing about how what she does as a musician. Right. And and then we finished off the night talking with uh, Nick and Odell from Musical Osmosis. Yeah, that's right. So I, I was listening back to that, and I was like, wow, we were on the phone with them for a long time. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, with those guys and what they do in their world and we do in ours, we could do just a full two and a half hours of that. Right. Because that's what we do. Exactly. And they do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got such a history, you know, with those guys going back all those years. And Yeah, we were fighting some signal interference during the call, but yeah. I, I got most of it out of the final mix. But it, there was a couple <laughs> you spots did a good job creep, with that. creeped back in. But um, yeah. we dropped the call once, which we knew that was probably going to happen doing that dynamic of a call. Yeah, that was the first time we've tried that. And, that long distance. You know, I you mean, got, dude, we were in a different time zone with Nick. Yeah. Odell's in Baltimore and we're here in Southern Maryland, man. It's, yep. <laughs> it was it's cool, nuts. man. It was cool. It was real cool. So, Live via satellite. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it, was awesome, man. it was great. Yeah. So. Uh, so kudos to those guests. Thanks for coming on, being with us. We really yep. do appreciate it. And, and, and the show thanks you for it. So yep. cool. Thank you all. Yeah. And we'll transition to what's happening with this week's show. Ooh. 
because this week's show is going to be real cool. Real yeah, cool. man. It's like the 23 and me. Right? And you. Yeah. And everyone else. Dude, you just named the episode. <laughs> I, I've been trying to secretly get that in. If you oh, haven't noticed, Lucky yeah. 22 or Legal 21. Yeah. 23 and me and you right. and everyone. You got to write that down before you leave. I'm always trying to sneak those in. Yeah, so that's the episode tonight. Um, we have a returning. Uh, well, let me see. Let's see. I'll organize it like this. We got Higgy coming on with Higgy on the beat. Awesome. We'll fire up the Ollie's Bar and Grill soundstage phone system in just a moment. Get him on. Talk talk about what's happening in the community right now. Okay. Then after that, we're gonna do Sean Kirkpatrick in Sean in sixty seconds. Love it. See what's going on in his world. See what happened this past weekend. Then Sweet. we're going to do the Island Music Guitar of the Week. Beautiful. Talk about that beautiful Epiphone Dot Deluxe. Nice. With that aquamarine finish. Yes. God, that was a beautiful guitar. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Then we get to our featured guest this week. And our first guest is a returning guest. And it's my artist relations guy, John Vitale with KHDK. He is so awesome, that guy. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to come back on. We're going to update him on what's going on in KHDK's world. We're going to talk about that Warrior Ghoul Screamer that's on my pedal board. Yep. Um, tell him how I like about it, how it's changed over the other one I have. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about Guitar.com named the Ghoul Screamer top 10 in the top 10 overdrives. Wow. It's number 10, but it's in the top 10. Yeah, that's still an honor. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. So we're going to talk to him and see what see what else is going on in his world because he's got a couple other brands he's dealing with now. Okay. So it is going to be a real cool call with him. Can't and wait. And we're going to find out what's up. Sweet. And then we're going to close out the show with um, a good friend of mine, Daniel Hill. Or, yes. Or you might know him as Yellow Tie Guy. Yeah. Um, he's a very talented musician. He is. I've, I've seen him a few times. Yeah. Um, I've known him and his family for a while now. Yeah. Um, and wow, it's going to be really cool talking to him. Yeah, He's got I can't a whole wait. bunch of stuff. His family's very musical. His dad builds amps. I worked with his mom when I was manager at Hot Licks. Right. How cool is that? She did the band rentals for all the kids. Yeah, that's awesome. So that takes a special person to do that job. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you right now you need a special patience and. And Betty did a great job with that. She's she's she was known in that circle as being the, one of the best. Sweet. So it was cool to see that. So it's all interconnected, man. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to getting him on here. This is great, man. You want to talk about being involved in community, and they've always been a part of the local community for sure. Right. So yeah. it's real cool. Um, and then we're gonna throw the two for Tuesday shout out somewhere in the timeline. Somewhere. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll we'll send it in when we can. Yeah. So, We're not going to forget you. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, it's coming. Even yeah. though no one listens. <laughs> I said like <laughs> and share, but I get some people like, some people share. So I just include everybody because it's. I think it's cool. It yeah. is. And and uh, from what I can tell, it's going to be another healthy list again this week. So thank it's, you. It's cool. Yeah. It's good. Um, so, yeah. So let's get the Ollie's Bar and Grill soundstage phone system cranking. We'll get Higgy on the beat yeah. going. What do you think? I, I can't wait. Soothing tone, sir. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Soothing tones. David Higgins, Southern Melon Chronicle. Check them out online. Ooh, it's ringing, man. It's ringing. Come on, Higgy. This is Higgy. What's jamming? Hey, Higgy, you're on the air, brother. How you doing tonight? What's going on, Mr. Harshaw? Nothing, man. We're here in the studio. I got your mic hot. I got Dan Alban in studio. Say hi, Dan. David, how are you, buddy? How you doing, Mr. Danny? I'm loving life, brother. How are you? <laughs> Not bad. Nice. Well, cool, man. Well, we, we always like to say thank you for coming on. Um, ah, so, <laughs> appreciate it. Um, t- man, you had a busy week, man. It has been a very busy week. Wow. So I'll let you just start and dive in, and then we'll see what's going on. All right. Good evening, Southern Maryland. I'm Dave Higgins, and this is Higgy on the Beat coming to you live from the Southern Maryland Chronicle Newsroom. Weather's getting warmer and local music scene is heating up. So let's kick this week off with a good old Southern Maryland bar, bar, bar crawl. This Friday from 12 to 8 p.m. in Leonardtown is the spring, spring brawl crawl. You will have at various different locations, Josh Earhart Trio, Funkzilla, Billy Breslin, Bradley Turner, and Chip Wood. Oh, now, wow. as always... When it comes to Southern Maryland music, you get other musicians who like to get involved in these different events, so you never know when someone else is going to pop up on stage. 
That's true. So true around here. <clears throat> On Friday, we're going to have Jay Shade at Helen's Cafe. On that same night, you have Random Impact at Seabreeze Tiki Bar opening. At Toots, you're going to have Paradox. Port Tobacco to Mar Marina, you're going to have Taboo. Wow. We head into Saturday night. You're going to have Joe Norris at Sunset Cove. Nightcap's going to be over at Anglers. Mm. Cowboy Crossing will be at Toots. Hydra FX is going to continue the Tiki Bar opening over at Seabreeze. Okay. And late that night, you got 81 Run and Justin Taylor over at Port Tobacco Marina. Oh, wow, man. Nice, so, nice big weekend of fun. That's wow. jam-packed. <laughs> That's jam-packed. Flip so, a quarter, man. <laughs> <laughs> this next music story is a little bit of ways. Okay. The Jazz Fest, Potomac River Jazz Fest. This is not until July, but it is worth bringing up now so you can plan for it. Okay. This year is the 20th anniversary. And okay. this year, they're actually making an entire weekend out of it. Ooh. The 20th anniversary is billed as the Soulful Summer Serenade and is anticipated to be the biggest event of all of them. The festivities begin Friday, July 12th with a kickoff concert and a party in the historic town, uh, town square in Leonardtown. Cool. The event is free for everyone. Jazz area experience for the whole family featuring the Chesapeake Swing Band performing from 6 to 9. And that evening will be a celebration of jazz throughout the 20s, the swing eras of the 30s and 40s, and modern and Latin jazz in the, of the eras 50s to the 90s. Nice. Um, so, I mean, it's a really great time. 20 years. You know this show has to be good. It would yeah. not have lasted 20 years if it wasn't. That's right. That's real cool, yeah. man. Wow. So, that's a little wrap on your music this week. Be sure to check out the local music schedule when it comes out. Thursdays at 5 p.m., right before the premiere of the Southern Maryland Chronicles Gurus show. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So what else is happening in the local news world? I know you've been busy. Man, in the news you. this week, we've got a ton of stuff. All right. The Maryland General Assembly for, this, for the year ended last Monday. This past Thursday and Friday, Governor Hogan signed a bunch of level legislation. Uh, the first piece he signed was the Repeat Drunk Driver Offenders Act. This strengthens punishments for drivers who are convicted a third, fourth, fifth time of drunk driving. And it also adds stiffer pen penalties for drivers who have been drinking and cause an accident and where there's an injury or death. Okay. <clears throat> Another big law that was signed in was Grace's Law 2.0. This is the first law in the nation that is like this. Okay. It makes cyberbullying with the intent to induce a minor to commit suicide punishable by 10 years in prison. Oh, wow. Grace's Law 2.0 is named after 15-year-old Grace McConnus of Howard County, Maryland, who committed suicide on Easter 2012, and her parents had no, re no recourse for this. Mm. Mm. So that, that's, you know, they've strengthened that law. Some of the other bills that were signed expanded upon hate crimes, expanded upon punishments for threats of mass violence, and also how they report hate crimes. Okay. <clears throat> Earlier this week, breaking story coming out of Charles County, another instructional aide slash teacher has been charged with a sex offense against a minor. Uh, this particular instructional aide, he was no longer a employee with Charles County, was charged with rape and other sex offenses of two students after they alleged that the incidents happened in December and January. Damn, Jesus. <laughs> and I believe this is probably, in the past year or so, is the sixth person within the public school system in Charles County to be charged with some kind of sex offense relating to students. Are they not doing their background checks on these on these employees? Uh, they, they keep saying that they're strengthening their background checks. They're doing this. They're doing that. But all this is coming out one after another after another. Wow. Yeah. That's just nuts. That's me. disturbing is what that is. Uh, as everyone knows, this past week was Easter. However, there was tragedy in Calvert County. An 11-year-old girl was killed when the golf cart that she was driving with two other children in it overturned. Oh, wow. Uh, names haven't been released. If they ever are, we will not be releasing them. But we are told that the child is the granddaughter of a prominent Calvert County business owner. Oh, wow. The oh, other two children were treated at the hospital and are both recovering. Hmm. Uh, on Monday of this week, Sheriff Cameron of St. Mary's County, Sheriff Barry of Charles County, Sheriff Evans of Calvert County, along with the Maryland Transportation, Transportation Department, announced a partnership for distracted driving. In Maryland, drivers and passengers who are not wearing their seatbelt can be fined $83. If you are using a handheld cell phone while driving, 
There's three levels of offenses, $83 the first, $140 the second, $160 the third. And those penalties can increase if um, there's an accident involved with it, whether there's crash, serious injury, injury, or death. The initiative is called Buckle Up, Phone Down, and it's going to include week-long enforcement and education initiatives through August. During these enforcement waves, information on the dangers of unbelted and distracted driving will be conveyed via b- billboards, digital and social media, as well as additional outreach. Ah. And now the big news that I know everybody's wanting to hear. Yes. What is <laughs> this past week, the Southern Maryland Chronicle formed a partnership with another news source in Southern Maryland. Southern Maryland Breaking News. Now, after many weeks of talking about this and discussing it with the people involved with Southern Maryland Breaking News, we felt that this was the best case scenario that we could join into okay uh southern maryland breaking news has over 50 55 000 facebook fans okay. they put out accidents fires as soon as it happens well with that this will bolster southern maryland chronicles breaking news section but at the same time for southern maryland breaking news it helps to put a newsroom behind their breaking news right whereas they were just posting when an accident would happen but there'd be no more information about it. I got you. So, so nothing's, not too much is going to change in how we do things. You're just going to see more of the news on the Chronicles page, and you'll see more of the accidents, fires, crime on breaking news page. And if there's something that needs to be posted to the main page, it'll be posted to it. But everything's going to be originating from the Southern Maryland Chronicle, so we're going to be able to provide you with you know, more real-time breaking news, more complete coverage. And we just think it's going to be all around better for Southern Maryland News. Yeah. yeah I, I'm going to say congratulations, David, on, on that hard much. work, man. Yeah, man, congrats. Your diligence and, and perseverance of hard work is paying off, sir. Okay. And we're very uh, we excited for you. got a few happening this weekend. Right. <laughs> no, no, hold <laughs> on, David. I was just saying hold thanks, on, man. Hold on, David. Know. Hold on, Iggy. Iggy, you're killing me. <laughs> dude, dude, congratulations on that. Man. Yeah, let's That's not, cool, very much. Let's not discount that. You did a lot of hard work. work man. And like <laughs> I said, man, me and you have been grinding together now for how many weeks? Uh, it's been a few months. Yeah, a few months now, man, and we and we loving every step of the way. Have yeah, not one of us this, has this ever is, messaged each other bummed out. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what it is, you know. You, you can't do everything by yourself. There's already so many different pieces out there. It's just about finding the right fit, bringing them together, and making it bigger and better for the people of Southern Maryland. That's yeah. right, man. Bravo, brother, Top man. Shelf, brother. And did, Top and shelf. Like I said, man, you have no worries of this show going anywhere else but staying with you, man. We're, well, I appreciate that. Dude, we're, we're with you, man, on this journey, man, because we both we, we both talk for hours about that stuff. So, man, it's good to hear, man. That's, that's fantastic news. And, and me and Danny are just so happy for you, man. Yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate it. Yep. So, man, but, um, you know what? Let, let's just cut it what it is this week, man, Higgy. Unless you got something else breaking, I don't need to take up any more of your time. What else you got? Going to give you just a couple of uh, events happening this weekend. And, um, if you're looking for a job, Tri-County Council of Southern Maryland is holding their eighth annual job fair oh, at the cool. Hollywood Volunteer Fire Department. This is the largest job fair in the region. Um, there will be over 65 companies there along with, for the first time, their local apprenticeship program. Okay. Um, as I said last week, the Black Diamond uh, commemoration will be happening this weekend. You can find out all that information on the website. Just search for Black Diamond com- commemoration. That's going to be at St. Clement's Island. And then also this weekend is the Dog Fest at the uh, Charles County Fairgrounds. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep, that, that's going to be this weekend, 27th and 28th. All leash dogs are invited to attend. Uh, new to the Dog Fest this year is the Dynamo Dogs which will be presented by the Mid-Atlantic Animal Specialty Hospital. This canine team has performed their high-energy, fast-paced act for audience all across the country. You may recognize them from many TV appearances, including they were on The Bachelor. So that's a few events for you to get around to this weekend. 
<laughs> dude, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's dude, great. Dude, dude, dude I'm, glad I, I'm, glad I, I'm glad you said all that. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Now, I, think my, I think my wife wants me to take the schnauzers up to the damn dog fest, so I might uh, be up there. <laughs> you said the damn dog fest. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get a laugh out nah, of everybody. That's great, man. It can't all be serious. Yeah, gotta, gotta have some fun. So, so but, uh, Higgy, uh, man. Uh, Thanks, dude, and congratulations on this great news, man. That is just cool. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, we we are so happy for you. And uh, hey, thanks again for spending time with us, man. Always. Yeah. I look forward to my Tuesday nights. We do too. <laughs> we do too, man. And dude, again, man, this is really rad for you, man. So, dude, hard work does pay off, and you're the living truth of it, man. This is cool. You want to drop the uh, quick. Uh, Places where yep. we can check you out. Uh, don't forget to send your tips on what's going on in your community to tips at southernmarylandchronicle.com. As always, follow the Chronicle on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash southernmarylandchronicle. And follow our website at www.southernmarylandchronicle.com for all your local, state, regional news, weather, and sports. Now we'll see you guys next week. All right. All right Higgy, take it easy, buddy. Talk- Bye. Later. All right, guys. See ya. David Higgins, buddy. Dude. Southern Maryland Chronicle, man. They are making progress in a big way. Big time, man. Big time. Big time. That is some big time news. Yeah. And if you got, if you haven't got over there, I say this every time. If you haven't got over there, get over there, check it out. We check it. Me and Dan both. This is our go-to. We, we check it all day, every day. Yeah. This I'm is down. our source for everything. Yeah. Like I said, he runs it right. Yeah. It's very tangible news. <laughs> exactly. Stuff I want to read. Yeah, and he, and he cares about the entertainment community down here and the music scene down here. Yeah, that's that's first and foremost. That's that, great. That's how it all started with us. Yeah. It's because of that. Yep. So, yeah, man. I'm going to be with him forever, man. Yeah, he's, he's, good, he's that's they're good doing stuff. good work, man. <laughs> that's cool, man. Well, dude, I think it's time for a quick break. Yeah. And then we'll come back. Um, and get Sean, Sean in 60 seconds cranking. Yeah, I, I can't wait for that either, man. But man, that was another beautiful phone call for the Ollie's Bar and Grill Soundstage phone system. They're all, <laughs> it's always cranking, man. Always. You you would think this this system cost fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, it, it's fantastic. It only costs thirty five thousand dollars. Hey, save fifteen <laughs> where you can. That's what I say. Save That's fifteen right. where you can. So cool. Well, this is Guitar Gurus. We'll be right back. from our 100 gigawatt radio internet thing that plugs into something else. It's WGUR, the Guitar Gurus. We see each other through different eyes. And we're back from break, man. How you feeling, Alden? Oh, man. Excited, energized, you name it. There's not enough adjectives for it. It's all there, man. Right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how we do on this show. That's right, man. Number two. <laughs> nice. Right, so, man. So, so how are you holding up after the break? I'm feeling fantastic. And Good. I'll tell you why. Let's hear it. It's because of the meal that Spoon's Barbecue La Plata delivered for us tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Fantastic food as always. Every time. Every time service everything is just was fantastic this week yeah um i enjoyed the pulled pork sandwich this week along with some of your mild spicy or mild chicken dock yeah mild didn't go mild. spicy but mild. yeah but mild it was awesome man yeah and then i saw you scrumping down a bunch of stuff and then the shrimp fried rice was beautifully done like always every time the shrimp fried rice you, it's so consistent it's good every single time. I, I I always order it. Yeah. It's a guru standard. It is. It really is. <laughs> it did its thing. It's man. a guru I, standard. Dude, just go in there and give me the guru. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they probably know what you mean. Dude. If you went in and asked for it, they they you'd probably get exactly what it is. Yep. Yeah. Try them out. <laughs> Tell them the guru sent you for the guru standard. Yeah. 
I had the uh, I had those pickled cucumbers. Yeah. Oh my god. Perfect. Really. Perfect. Yeah. I I did. I let you have them because you were just. You, that's all you talked about. Yeah. Like, and and, and I was like, you know, I was with, like they're yours, dude. With it being <laughs> a, an eighty degree day and that side being so crisp and fresh and light the way it is, it was perfect. That's awesome. Perfect man. on a on a nice summer day or it's not summer but you get what i'm saying it feels like it 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 just i just love it it's it's, they did great it's the season of pollen yeah (laughs) yeah pollen so they they scored a home run no they hit a home run they you know whatever the adjectives are i'm using the word adjectives a lot but it was a great meal we love them for it you got to get there and get it for yourself because listening to us doesn't do it justice. No. Did you get to happy hour? No. I don't I don't drink that much. Yeah, did you get to happy? <laughs> <laughs> of course you got to happy hour. Of course I did, man. I always go in there and, and have a couple, man, because you know, their happy hour specials are fantastic. So yeah, I, I had a couple. Well someone told me is they they spot you in the parking lot, right? They see you coming. And by the time you get in there, they got it cracked, shutting down, waiting on you. Uh, was that Joe? Did Joe tell you that? I, I'm not telling, <laughs> but that's what I heard. Yeah, they see me coming, man. Dude, you're the cliff at Spoons. You're I am. Cliff. Dude, how awesome is that? It, it's great. Dude, growing up as a kid, when we were all watching Cheers, everybody's like, who are you going to be when you grow up? Because <laughs> that's what kids did back when we were growing up. Yeah. They all thought we were going to do something that we saw on TV. Right. How, how sad we were fooled. Yeah. Norm. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Norm. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they see me coming. I, I called you Cliff. In the, the, Cliff the post guy. Well, I, I kind of <laughs> am like Cliff in a way when I sit down because I'm full of useless knowledge that no one gives a crap about. So. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> that's good stuff. Well, see, that's the personal service you'll get there. Yeah. Personal. Yeah, it is. But they know they know you. They, they have your stuff ready, man. Yeah. I mean, that's legit. It is legit. And if someone like our listeners would go there on a regular basis, that will happen to you, too. Exactly. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I went in there, and I'll be full disclosure for the listeners. Um, I go and pick the food up on Tuesdays. And I get there a little early so I can uh, sit down at the bar and have a couple beers. Right. And I, I today I had three beers, and my bar tab was four dollars and some change. <laughs> nice. Yeah, happy hour. So that that's why I get there a little earlier because you can't beat that. No. And there's plenty of TVs in the bar where you can watch hockey <laughs> highlights or sports highlights and have good conversations with the bartender and it's it's just it's a very welcoming and i love sitting there so let me ask you this why is it during happy hour it's cheaper to buy beer than it is a soft drink because <laughs> <laughs> no one's happy ordering a coke <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, get me a coke <laughs> designated driver <laughs> right probably. yeah no one's happy about that <laughs> Right, but I mean, it's, it's so funny now that you can buy you can buy beer cheaper than soda. That's the way it should be. Right. So that's good stuff. So thanks to Spoons for the meal tonight, man. That was yeah. really good stuff. Thank you guys. Awesome. So cool. Well, dude, we got to get Sean on for Sean in sixty seconds. Get yeah. the um, Ollie's Bar and Grill soundstage phone system cranking, and we'll get it in. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. And it's gonna be a quick one this week. I can't wait to hear this, it. after this, we got to do Guitar of the Week and then get John Vitale on the phone. We can't leave him holding up, man. Nope. He can't leave him hanging there. Nope. So we got to roll. So he's, a big, he's a big fish, man. Cool. The Ollie's Bar and Grill Soundstage Phone System. It's cranking. There it is. It's ringing. Come on, Sean. Come on, buddy. Hello? Hey, Sean. You're on the air, buddy. How you doing, man? What's going on? I'm doing good. How are you guys? So we got your mic hot. We got it cranking in here. Got Dan Alban here. Dan Alban, say hi to Sean. What's up, Sean? What's happening, Dan? Not much, buddy. How are you? Just saved it. <laughs> I'm doing all right, man. Right. I've I got love- a little bit of sunburn again because I've been working on the fences all day, but, well, you know, I'm hanging tough. That's good, man. You know, you're out there working hard. I don't want to hear no complaining because you're working I'm hard. Not- you're working hard. 
<laughs> yeah, I get that red tan. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I understand. That's good, man. <laughs> man, so I had a crazy freaking weekend. Nice. Ooh. I love these weekend recaps. All right, yeah, man. man. So I got. The, I had the whole weekend off, so I decided to go up to the jetty and spend some time with my mom and dad. Well, my, I had dinner with my mom outside the jetty. My dad, you know, is always there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Friday night I got to see a band called Super Bueno Who used to be Like the former, for, some of the members in the band Used to be Versus the Earth And they were an original band That was touring up and down the east coast a while back And their manager at the time Was actually Gary Hudson Who is now my booking agent oh, wow. Which is kind of a funny coincidence It's a small world after oh, all See <laughs> Yeah and not only that but uh, John Fraze Actually got his start working with versus the earth as a roadie if you look at pictures of him back then man he had a mohawk and he was all beefed up like bodybuilder looking guy nice. you wouldn't even recognize him i love it dude i love old <laughs> pictures yeah yeah man and so the drummer for super bueno his name is brandon sturm he's a baltimore kid uh, i think he's in his early 20s and might be might be my age uh mid 20s maybe right but this kid is probably one of the most solid drummers i've seen like come out of maryland so far i mean especially in his age group i mean this he just he worked so hard at it and like they came out there during the third set and they played uh run to the hills by iron maiden i swear to god he hit yeah. every single note perfectly wow wow that's that is cool yeah yeah yeah, man, so that props to him. Saturday and Sunday, they had two bands at the Jetty both days. So Saturday, they had started off with Wheelhouse, a band called Wheelhouse, which is actually fronted by a woman named Dre and another another woman named Jean Stapp Nooney, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned to you before. She used to work at, or she works at PRS. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Yeah, so as she, my mom wants to. When if you guys decide to have my mom on, she wants to have Gene on at the same time. Just oh, absolutely, they, oh. they can work together. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we got. Now we're gonna have to work some stuff out with some Guru Magic. Yeah. Dude, hold yeah. on. I gotta check this idea out. Do Marcus? that call like that, and then when we talk to Sean at night, we can have Sean and your dad and your dad on at the same time. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's actually waiting for you to call him because he's he wants to come on real bad. I know. Tell, tell, <laughs> I tell him I'm getting there. It's, I got a couple. I have I have extended invites out, but I'm waiting for answers back, and I can't do anything until I hear back because I don't want to double book and get in that odd obligation. That's why I tell everybody to exercise patience. That's oh yeah, no, I, know. I mean no rush. Obviously, I know it's a pain in the ass. I'll tell you Just what, letting though. you know, make sure you don't forget. No, yeah, no, I, you're you, dude. Thank you, Sean, for that, because we would love to have them on, believe me. No, we could just do it a whole Kirkpatrick night, man. Ooh. Something yeah, cool. we could do something that'd be a good cool. idea. We could do something cool, or we could just keep it the normal format, have him on one night in the slot, and have them do on in the slot. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it, man. I'm, but I'm coming, man. I'm calling soon. Would you, be, <laughs> would you be willing to be here live while we call these folks? I would be actually. I was thinking about that today. I was like, "You guys better like get ready because Boone's and Laplate is gonna need to prepare me a meal if that's the case." Nice. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. Meet me. Meet me for a couple on the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You know what, man? Um, let me get through the next couple of days and this weekend. I'll be reaching out. So let them awesome. know. So it'll happen. Cool. Oh yeah, he's got like he's got like T-shirts with the, just lists of things not to say to sound guys or look at sound guys the wrong way and like just it's all printed out on shirts so he doesn't even have to like talk to people. It's so messed up. <laughs> nice. We love that. But yes. yeah, so um, with Wheelhouse Band, Jean actually plays a very interesting instrument. So she she plays saxophone. But she has this thing called an aerophone, which is basically like the wind version of a guitar. Oh, wow. And Whoa. it blew my mind. I mean, the sound coming out of this thing was actually pretty quality sound, for one. And two, I mean, it almost sounded like she was like like mixing, you know, stringed instruments with the horn sound. So it was like almost orchestra sounding, full horn sections coming from this one little tiny plastic toy looking thing. Oh, wow. That's really yeah. cool looking. Oh. I'm trying to visualize it so hard right now. 
Yeah, I mean, if you look it up online or something, you find pictures of it, man. It looks like a freaking spaceship. <laughs> well, some, it's just some weird technology, man, but <laughs> it's awesome. Right. I got to. That's cool, man. We'll have to see yeah. what we can do. So what, else did, I, so what else did you get to do on your weekend off? Well, I ended up actually working when Wheelhouse was there because uh, I got the I got the, um, the software for the X32 for downloaded on my phone. And they were having some drop, some monitor issues on stage, so you know I opened it up and pulled it up, and you know I was helping them dial in their monitors. And the whole the whole first and second set, I'm sitting there adjusting stuff for the drummer, and he's saying up and down, okay, we're good, we're good, that's fine. Right. And then like two songs later, he come back with some more stuff. And then right before the third set, he comes up and he says, you know, I think my drum monitor is off. <laughs> <laughs> It was. <laughs> it was off. <laughs> As well it should be. Yeah, but I mean, he played it like a champ, you know? You couldn't tell that he was, I guess, miserable during the sets, but, you know, he, he, he nailed it, you know? They were all they were all solid, so you couldn't really tell. Right. That's why we practice, man. Right. Because of exactly. those things. That way you know where you're supposed to be, and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing the whole time. It yep. sucks you couldn't hear it, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> But it is, a, it is a pretty small stage. They had stage amps and stuff like that, so I'm sure you could hear it well enough, but oh. you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, man. That's cool. But you're always there to save the day at the right time, at the right place. Try to be. You know, I'm out there to help everybody, man. That's all I want to do. Yeah, and, and we love you for it, man. Man, man. <laughs> I love you guys, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, so anyway, nice. continuing on with my 420 Saturday. Oh, um, yeah. After Wheelhouse was done, uh, the, another band called Star Crush came on. And they've been around for a while. They're also another Starly band. Um, they brought in, like, basically a full, like, it wasn't their whole light show, but it was enough to fill the stage. So uh, that was pretty interesting to see how they how they do it. They had a light guy and a couple other techs working with them. So, I, right. you know, you, you have to have some help when you're setting up there because there's only like a hour long changeover. Mm -hmm. But wow. uh, yeah, they they did a pretty good job, and the light show looked really cool. I I enjoyed that a lot. But then uh, <laughs> when we get towards the end of the night, um, they had the one of their tech guys came up to me and. You know those girls that walk around the bars handing out shots of Kool-Aid yeah. for like two bucks? Right, right. Well, he had a tray, but there was no shots on it, and he said he'd give me 40 bucks to drink what was in the tray. Oh, no. So, so I did. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah. How'd that go? Well, I thought it was fine, because, you know, <laughs> I, I assumed it was Kool-Aid, but apparently the Jetty doesn't do Kool-Aid. They actually put some alcohol in their shots. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm, oh. I'm, I'm playing it off like They're a champ for like a good like, 30 minutes. <laughs> right, but it was secretly crushing yeah, uh, you. Let me tell you a secret, Sean. When I was what? a kid, we had Kool-Aid because we only had $2. So <laughs> if somebody's charging $2 for a, a shot of Kool-Aid, <laughs> that ain't Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, dude. So it secretly was crushing you? <laughs> well, so after about 30 minutes, I blacked out and went and sat in my dad's car in the passenger seat and waited for the show to be over. Oh, oh yeah. Were wow. you in and out going, oh, my God, why did I do that? <laughs> no, I, I I, just, all I remember is waking up in bed the next day. Nice. What would you spend your fun. money on? What's that? What would you spend your money on? Oh, I, um, gas to get home. <laughs> it was very fortuitous, actually. I was worried about it, and then someone offers me forty bucks to take up to take a shot or a really big shot. But yeah, I was like, yeah, cool. Now I now I'm comfortable. <laughs> You're a madman, brother. You're a madman. I love it. You're living the rock and roll life, man. Yeah, yeah well, just do what I want, you know. Right. Before we get off, where's Trilogy playing at this weekend? So Friday we're actually back at the jetty. Okay. Um, Saturday. The scene of the crime. <laughs> downbeat, downbeat's at eight thirty on Friday at the jetty. By the way, if anybody wants to come out, it's going to be a good time. Nice. I love going there, obviously. Um, <laughs> Saturday we're doing a tacos and taps event up in Baltimore at the Harbor Plaza. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be fun. It's going to be a bunch of taco trucks and and uh, tequila and margaritas and stuff flying everywhere. Oh. 
However, we're going to have to not partake in much of that because we have to book it up the road over to Hollywood Casino in Charlestown, West Virginia, after, right after the Tacos and Taps gig to play at the at the at the casino up there. Oh, okay. Wow, a two for yeah, two in one day. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. yeah. So don't don't believe it's Kool Aid. It's tequila. Right? <laughs> oh man. Kool-Aid ain't got nothing on this one. So the, one of the times that I went to West Virginia, in Charlestown, West Virginia, they had put the um, 25-year McKellen uh, right on the like the bottom shelf next to the Bullet Bourbon and next to the Jack and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if you know about McKellen 25, but it cost about $3,000 a bottle. Ugh. Whoops. And they had it sitting on the bottom shelf. So I, I was like, you know, I wonder what that is. It's new. And I was pretty young at the time. I had just gotten, like, I had just turned 21, so I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So let me get a shot of that. She's like, you, you want a shot or you want it on the rocks? So I was like, she was cute, so I was trying to be cool. So I put it on the rocks, and she pours it, and then hands me the tab. And doesn't even blink an eye whatsoever. Just hands me the receipt. And I grab the, grab the drink, take a sip, look at the receipt. 75 bucks. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're learning a lot about you on this show. Got caught being cool. Got caught being cool. I make many mistakes, and I'm hoping I can share all of them with all of you so that you don't make them too. Well, we, we appreciate that. I appreciate your time this week. We got to cut it a little bit short. It's a it's a jam-packed night. So, so just think about some more stuff, and we'll get with you next week on it. For sure. I hope right. you guys have a good night. All right, man. All take right, it Sean. easy, brother. You too. See you. Bye. See you, brother. Damn. The man, the myth, the legend. Sean yeah. in 60 seconds. I, every week it's like, I'm sitting here going, what? <laughs> you did what? Dude, 40 <laughs> bucks to drink all that from the tray. Right. And then he, he took a $75 shot. Yeah, good deal, dude. We'll, we'll holler at you next week, Sean. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Dude, guess what time it is? Ooh, a guitar of the week? Yep. It's the Island Music Guitar of the Week. So I guessed it right. Dude, and this week's an Epiphone Dot Deluxe, and the mm. color was aquamarine. Beautiful. I scoured <laughs> the internets and got some information to put it together. I think that's my birthstone color, aquamarine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, that, it was, dude, it was an awesome guitar, man. Oh, it was. Real awesome. Um, so check this out, dude. Um, I'm strap on. You while yeah, you yeah, do yeah. This. Strap on this Epiphone Limited Edition Dot Deluxe, and all eyes will be on you. Thanks to its gorgeous triple A flame maple body. Beyond that, it's a solid mahogany tone block that ensures fat tones while minimizing potential feedback. It, okay, <laughs> that, yeah. that's how we start out. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm ready. Get it, man. Right. It's, a, it's got a set of Alnico Classic and an Alnico Classic Plus humbuckers, offer you the vintage ten tones that are perfect for any style of music. Enjoy exceptional playability courtesy of the Simo Holly Bollies Pro. Hold on, dude. It says enjoy exceptional playability of this semi hollow body guitars Poe Faro top slim taper D neck. But the, that's the that's the material they put in the fretboard. Is there called, you go. It's called Poe Faro. Yeah. It always throws me off when I see the word because it's spelled weird. Yeah. For how you have to pronounce it. It always gets me, man. Always. But, dude, man, the guitar looks gorgeous. The flame on it was triple A, man. Yeah. Photoed great, man. Um, the, the specs on this thing, man. The specs on it are unreal. Check it out. Um, of course, it's got it's right-handed, six strings. It's a triple A flamed maple veneer top and body. Um, mahogany neck with the Poe Ferro fretboard. Slim tapered D profile with a 12-inch radius. Made it real nice, man. It, it just played really cool, real cool. Um, 22 frets, just regular dot inlays. Um, scale lengths 24 and three quarters, and the nut width is one. 6.875 inches <laughs> however you want to break that down yeah whatever that is yeah math people help us <laughs> right it's got the two pneumatics um bridge and the stop bar tailpiece man always interested in the tailpiece it's stop stop bar <laughs> man <laughs> um of course it's got uh two volume tune tone um 
knobs with the three-way selector switch. So you can have both pickups on or one or the other. So it's classic like that. Um, dude, what I thought what was interesting about this guitar is with the semi hollows is, is you catch yourself sometimes just playing it for a while with not even plugged in. You just strumming. Oh yeah, yeah, because you can. Yeah, it resonates where you can just play it unplugged. All right, and I I caught Beautiful. myself doing that all weekend long, <laughs> all weekend long, all weekend long. Um, what they did is in. The part of the features of this guitar is it's a recreation of the classic ES335 dot guitar from the late 50s. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's what they're. That's why they're saying it's a limited edition, and that's why they gave it the triple A flame maple tops and the sides to really give it that 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 wow factor for that price range it's in. Yeah, and it's just really cool, man, how they did it all. Um, and you know. I, I highly suggest everybody go down to Ireland, walk into the store, say, I'm here to see the guitar of the week, let Jack get it for you, and try it out. Because this one's affordable, and it's awesome. How affordable is it? $4.99. What? That's right, man. $4.99? Yeah. Wow. That is extremely affordable. Right, and it's awesome. It plays great. <laughs> That's that guitar saying. is too too nice for four ninety nine. Right, that's what I'm saying, man. We've yeah. seen all the ones coming through here, so I was just shocked by it. I was like, yeah, man, it was so awesome. I posted it in the in the cheap awesome guitar group. Yeah, and they right. were like, oh my god, dude, this is cool. They were like, they didn't. I'm like, yeah, man. And they're like four ninety nine. I'm like, yeah, dude. There you go. I can't believe that one. that's four ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, mm. dude, that. You can't beat that, man. I mean, it's <laughs> gorgeous. It's a gorgeous guitar. Absolutely. So, just another home run hit by Island Music Company, man. Another home run hit. Yeah. Get in there, take it off the shelf, check it out. T- take it Strum home. Strum away, man. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Take it home. Yeah, four ninety nine. Take it home. Right. It's real cool. <laughs> I know. I, I. Sorry, I botched the fingerboard material earlier. That's it's, okay. It's cool, man. man. I'm still learning to be a broadcaster. <laughs> yeah, I, and I love this segment because the last few weeks, I just stare at you while you do this, and it makes you nervous. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I keep dimming the lights, and it's just like, like I, yeah, because we're going to be doing the show in the dark. Like my wheel, <laughs> my wheelhouse is just is just like breaking it down. Then when you get to do it, I'm like, I'm just going to stare at you and see what you do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're over there going, ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what's going to help you. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, <laughs> dude, let's get out of here, take a break, and then we'll come back and get John Vitale on the phone, man. Can't wait. Cool. Guitar Gurus with Dan and Dan. You're tuned in to the Southern Maryland Guitar Guru Show. The only show that Chuck Norris is afraid to be a guest on. We see each other through different eyes. Oh yeah, we're back from break and the show is cranking along, man. How you doing, Dan? Um, <laughs> I am in a zone. I'm in a zone. Well, good. I'm going to get the Ollie's Barn Girl soundstage phone system cranking and get John Vitale on the line. Give me some soothing tones. Yeah. Hey, everybody, we're getting John Vitale on the phone. Oh, there it is. It's ringing, man. We're dialing him in. Let's see it. He answers. Come on, buddy. Yep, come on. Hello. Hey, John, it's Dan from the Guitar Gurus. You want to go on the air? Sure. Dude, we're here in the studio. Got your mic hot. I'm talking to my co-host, Dan Alban. Dan Alban, say hi to John. John, good evening, buddy. How are you? Double Dan's. I'm doing good. Thanks for having me back, guys. Hey, you're you're what I call a repeat offender of the show. So we appreciate your time. <laughs> I'll wear that proud. I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> nice. That's we good stuff, it. man. Well, lots happened and a lot's changed for us since the last time we spoke. Um, yeah. The show's just grown and grown, man, since the last time you've been on. And awesome. Congrats, congrats to you guys. Keep it going. 
yeah um never gonna give up yeah we're never gonna stop and um we got hopefully in the next month or so we might have some real big news coming our way so it's exciting times for sure that's cool that's cool dan did you just uh elicit and vogue there uh never give up never gonna get up no i was going more rick astley with that never gonna All get right. never gonna get <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it works. Congrats, guys. That's cool. Uh, when are you, you going to make that announcement? Well, hopefully, um, I got one more phone meeting next week, and then hopefully the week after that. So hopefully in two, three weeks. And Cool, cool. And, and it could Fingers be crossed. Yeah, man. Yeah. So send some positive vibes, and we'll be good. <laughs> cool. So um, what's been happening in your world since the last we talked? I've seen your Facebook action. you got a bunch of things going on, so I'll let you for the first couple moments get us caught up in yeah. all that yeah so yeah just like you guys you know the time keeps moving on right and and uh, and some good things are happening you know i i don't know about you guys but you know i you know you spend a lot of time uh, effort um taking care of your artists your clients you know when you're in the business uh, that i'm in and sometimes you neglect uh, promoting yourself and your business. It's just, you know, getting, being busy and, and, and working hard for, for others. Sometimes, uh, you know, that happens. So I took a breath and I said, you know what, it's, it's really high time I, I you know, promote the business and, and, you know, let people know what I'm doing out there. So what you're referring to is, you know, I just went back and I, I thought I'd share and, and make some posts about, you know, some of the, some of the guys I've been working with over the past year, uh, you know, some Nashville guys, uh, Janet Jackson's bass player, um, you know, things like that, just to let everybody know, yeah, I'm still out here, and, you know, if you're, if you're looking for some help on, on gear or endorsements, uh, you know, let me know. Um, these are the kind of guys that I work with. Um, but, you know, I work with all levels, all genres as well, so I thought it was just a nice opportunity to send some info out there and let, let people know what was happening. Yeah, that's it's cool, man. It's real cool, and um, and, and I just see it popping up all over the place, man. You're really connecting with a bunch of musicians, and it's just really cool to see you doing what you do, man. So cool. I I appreciate that, and I I too have an announcement, but I'm uh, I'm gonna I'll make it now. Um, I I did tease it a little bit uh, with with some of the things that we were just talking about. Um, but my, my latest signing to DNA Amplification, uh, that's the base amp and cab company that uh, I do artist relations for. Right. Um, I signed a co-founding member and, uh, and rocker, uh, Robbie uh, Merrill, um, bassist in Godsmack. So that's, wow. uh, that's, one, yeah, that's one of the projects I've been working on wow. lately. Um, I set them up with four amplifiers. We'll probably do some cabinets, I, I would think, down the road. So... What he wants to do is he wants to have two rigs here in the States and he wants to have two rigs for international touring. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, it's going real well. Um, haven't, uh, I don't have them up on the website yet. We're still working on putting together content, um, some photos, quotes, links, that kind of a thing. But as soon as I get that from them, uh, they'll be going up on our endorsing artist page. I'll be, you know, then I'll start doing some of the social media promo that i do with my my artist clients and um they're stoked and i'm stoked and um you know uh really really happy to be working with that band yeah, wow that's john cool. man thank you thank you for getting that exclusive here on our little show down here in maryland man <laughs> no problem no that problem. is good work and, buddy uh, keep your eyes out there'll be there'll be more to come with with him cool man good good grinding man nice hard work yeah and uh, so what's happening in my world on the personal slash professional side, because I really can't separate the two. Right. Uh, you know, I, I think last time I was on, I told you guys that I kind of came out of retirement for the second time as a, as a performing guitar player. So, um, you know, I find myself in two bands now um, that I go back with. Yeah. Uh, one of them is a progressive metal band called Sacred Dawn. We're based here in Chicago. Uh, we just... Um, got out of the studio and recorded two new songs that we're going to press to vinyl. In fact, I think they're pressing as we speak. Yeah. Uh, there'll be a new song, Side A, new song, Side B, and then there's going to be a bonus CD. We did a, uh, we re-recorded a song called Demon Lover that's on uh, Sacred Dawn's second album called The Madness Within. Uh, a little bit more up-tempo, a little bit more aggressive, changed some things around, so it's really cool. 
Um, and then in addition to that song on the bonus CD that'll come in in the package, uh, our guitar player Lotar actually found a show that we did way back in 2006 here in Chicago. Um, and the place was just nuts. The crowd was insane. So he just kind of stumbled upon it uh, in, in one of his hard drives and we listened to the whole show. It was a, a 90 minute set. And uh, we picked four tracks off of that that we're gonna include on the CD. So it's gonna be a nice package. It's gonna be distributed in Europe uh, to begin with um, somewhere around July. And then we're gonna do some, some mini tours to support it. So that's what's going on with Sacred Dawn. I'm, I'm, I'm really um, happy to, to be involved with that band again. I'm just kind of happy in general just to be playing. So I'm really enjoying it. You know, when, when the enjoyment, uh, you know, is, is over, that's, that's when I'm going to hang it up again, probably for the, the last time, but don't quote me. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Man, the other band ride. um, that I'm in is High Speed Dirt. And that's a, sh um, Chicago based Megadeth tribute. We go way back. The band's probably approaching its 20th year of existence. Um, I had a real good long run with them uh, and then stepped out of that for various reasons. Uh, but the band got together again about a year ago and, and they, they recruited me back in and we're playing local shows. And I'm having fun doing that too. And I'll tell you what, it's crazy, guys. You know, we're, we're, I'm the oldest guy in the band, I will, I will gladly admit it. Um, but, the, but the other three guys, you know, they're not getting any younger either. And it's amazing, though, after all these years and the starting and stopping of that band with a few other members, you know, rotated in. It's amazing that at this stage of, of being in that band that we're tighter than we've ever been and it's it's pretty amazing and the shows have been great. So on the personal side and playing again, I'm I'm having a good time. That's awesome, man. I'm so happy for you, John. That's aw that's great, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate man. it. So you, if any you of your listeners happy. out there want to check out those bands, once again, that Sacred Dawn. And then the other band is High Speed Dirt. We're a mega that tribute here in Chicago. Yeah, I want I want a copy of that vinyl because that's all I listen to at home. So I need I need that vinyl. <laughs> no problem. Um, <laughs> when they come out, and I will definitely um, keep that in mind. We'll, we'll make that happen. Nice. Yeah, we can review it and everything. It'll be awesome, man. And uh, cool. Yeah, you sound so happy, man. You really do. You, you're full of I'm energy. enjoying it playing again, guys. I mean, listen, we're all musicians. We know that, you know, there's a couple of hours of real enjoyment. You know, when you get on stage with your with your bandmates, your brothers, and you hit that first note, all the other bullshit just kind of melts away, right? Yep. From all of it. Yep. All of it. Book and agents and club owners and wondering and hoping if people are going to get out of their houses and show up. I mean, just, you you know, it's an endless list of stuff that can be quite stressful yep. uh, for, for, you know, uh, for bands. But um, right now, I'm just enjoying playing again. And uh, so I'll keep doing it as long as I'm enjoying it. When it, when it. when it becomes a chore, you know, then I'll reconsider again. Yeah. Now, can I ask you a question on the... Uh the the mega sure. death, the mega death tribute band are yeah. you are you guys endorsed or give the thumbs up by Dave Mustaine in any way does he know you know what that's an interesting question I've got, I have a buddy in Toronto his name is Joey D Toronto actually and he's been in a band out there called War Machine for a long time uh, he had David Ellison from Mega Death record several of their tracks on some of their earlier albums so they've got a real nice relationship nice. Um, but. Joe also plays in a Metallica tribute called Sandman. Right. Okay. And they supposedly they are the only endorsed Metallica tribute by Metallica th themselves. And actually there was a the reason that happened is there was kind of some uh, actually it's an interesting story. I'll tell you it real quick. Sure. One of floor. one of Metallica's lawyers caught wind of this band. Now guys, we know there's probably a thousand or more Metallica tributes in this country, maybe more, right? right That's right. probably one of the biggest tribute at, you know, uh, bands that people, you know, uh, play covers to, right? So, you know, when you play other bands' music in clubs and bars and stuff, technically, you know, it's copyrighted and you're supposed to pay them a royalty and or get approval, right? You know, nobody does it. No. Nobody enforces it. Right. No one. But, but... Some lawyer in Metallica's camp caught wind of this band and really came down hard on him, and it was it got it got crazy. So um, 
Joe's connection to David Ellison and their connection to Metallica, word got back to James and, and the boys in Metallica, and they, did, they knew nothing about it. And in fact, to make a long story short, this guy was doing stuff that he wasn't supposed to be doing and not, um, you know, uh, okay by the band to do. And once they caught wind of it, they, they let this guy go. <laughs> yeah. So that turned into uh, Metallica actually endorsing um, and recognizing um, officially uh, Sandman as as a, an endorsed Metallica tribute band, which is, I think, a cool story. But to answer That's your question, cool. Dan, um, no, High Speed Dirt has never been endorsed by Megadeth. However, they do know that we exist. Um, there's actually, I think, next October, uh, a mega cruise going on. You know how they do these cruises with different bands and different genres and stuff? Yeah. Well, yeah. there's one going on with Megadeth, and word on the street is that he was looking for a good uh, Megadeth tribute to come and play on that cruise. I sent out a couple of emails um, to no avail yet. I'm not really keeping my hopes up, but uh, <laughs> the guys keep asking me, have you... Have you followed up with David? You know, is it possible? I'm like, eh, you know, <laughs> don't hold your breath, guys. But, you know, if, if that right. is something that, that, that we did, I mean, how, how fun would that be? That, that would be awesome. That man. would be one for the books, man. Yeah. I might get I a ticket. Guys <laughs> What's that? I might get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I've only, I've been on one of these music cruises. Uh, it was in 2014. It was called Prog Nation at Sea. And my good buddy, one of my biggest uh, endorsers that I made um, some Parker guitars for back in the day, Adrian Ballou of Zappa, King Crimson, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah. um, he was on that cruise and a bunch of bands. Portnoy's band was on there, King's X, Ballou's Trio, uh, you know, a shit ton of bands. Right. Um, oh, and I was in Nashville with, with Adrian um, at one point. He was telling me about this and he said, listen, if you want to go, I can set you up with a, you know, a, our artist price for, you know, a nice private room and this and that. So, guys, I jumped at it. And it was awesome. I'd never been on a cruise before. So what better way to pop my cherry than go on a on a cruise where you know every day, all day, all night there's there's amazing bands playing. That was right. Way cool. Wow, man! You tell you tell Adrian Blue we said hi from this show because that guy <laughs> that guy's incredible, I, man. <laughs> I will do so. I will do so. So Please. I know for, time's probably running short, so I'll fill you in on KHDK real quick. What's going on with them? Sure, oh, yeah, um, man. You got time. So Dan, I think as you know. Um, they, they came out with a, a Warrior Ghoul Screamer, which uh, limited edition is pretty much a, a souped up Ghoul Screamer. I mean, that Ghoul Screamer has already become kind of an iconic TS style overdrive with com- built in compression. It's right. an amazing pedal. Right. Um, so they, they did that. Um, they did a signature uh, limited edition pedal with David Ellison, speaking of David. Uh, called Fallout. It's got a cool radioactive uh, logo. Remember the back in the day, the Rust in Peace days? Yeah. Nick Menza had on his bass drum head that, yep. that um, what do you call it? That uh, the, radioactive yeah, the, the logo t- or whatever. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty cool. That thing sold out in a couple of days. Um, the latest one that, that the company did was uh, with Exodus slash Slayer guitars, Gary Holt, um, called the Paranormal. And this thing, dude, this is Gary's on all the time pedal. Never turns it off. It's basically his signature tone. Um, but it can, it, it, it's basically a, a full parametric, uh, a full studio parametric EQ in this tiny little pedal. It's pretty amazing. Limited 250 run of that. I'm not sure if there's any more left of that. That pedal goes for 229 on the street. Right. If anybody's interested in picking that up, any of your listeners, um, and I'll give my email out at the end of the interview, but um, you know they can contact me, and if there's any left, I can I can hook them up. Um, and I'm actually meeting with Kirk Hammett's partner, uh, David Karen, tomorrow for lunch. And I'm going to get updated on the latest and greatest with the company, and I can't announce who they're working on their next signature pedal with, but uh, it's also a biggie. And um, maybe next time I come on, I can fill you in on that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, bring Dave and Kirk on with you next time. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. It would be fairly problematic because David moved to Prague um, several years ago. In fact, 
Prague is where the designer and engineer of the electronics of, of the pedals lives. And I think that's one of the main reasons David moved out there. And the whole company really was born out of Kirk and David uh, having some beers one night. And uh, they're like, you know, what the hell? We should start a company. What should it be? And I don't know if I went into this before, but I'll just remind you and your and your, your listeners um, David uh, was the guy that brought Kirk Hammett into Randall many, many years ago, and they did a whole series of, of Randall uh, Kirk Hammett signature amps that did quite well. So they've had a relationship for about a decade, and and uh, they started this company a couple of years ago, and, and they're doing well. Oh, yeah, man. I was there in the early days in the MI industry when the Ghoul first came out. So, yeah. I, rem- I remember it very well. It was cool. Yep, 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 yep. So there's a lot of good things going on. Uh, you know, playing again. Uh, DNA Amps is going well. You guys saw some of the guys I've been working with over the past year. That's just, uh, you know, that's just a, a, a small sample size. Again, you know, I work with all levels of musicians, drummers, bass players, guitar players, all genres. Um, so, so you know, on, on the on the Bass amp and cabinet sides going well with DNA. Things are going well with KHDK. I also work with SJC Custom Drums um, and many other brands too. So you know, if any of your listeners, any of your musicians out there are looking for you know good deals on on instruments or gear, uh, want a relationship with a brand, um, up to and uh, you know uh, and including an endorsement and i think we talked last time too guys that can mean a lot of different things so it's really you know we won't waste air time going into it now but any of any of your listeners that are, are interested in any of those things um you know please have them feel free to contact me my email is john last name by tally v is in victor i-t-a-l-e 118 at yahoo.com and if i can help i certainly will that's true. Helped me out many a times. Yeah, I'm, I might contact you myself, John, as a bass Not player. Problem. As a bass player, just to uh, you know, you know, check it out and uh, see what see what's possible. That's that's no problem, man. If I can help, I certainly will, and uh, I'd look forward to it. Yeah, I know you will, and everybody listening, he's 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 legit sincere. He will try to help you if he can. So I just want to throw that out, man. You are awesome. We love having you back on here, and I love I love your um, the the vigor I hear in your voice tonight. I can tell you're in a good place, and you're you're just excited and inspired to do great things. Well, I, I appreciate that, man. And you know what? I, I mean, at the end of the day, that's you know we all want to work with people that that embody that, right? Yes. Um, you know. It, it, it goes back to the treat people how you want to be treated, yep. do the right things, lift people up when it's deserved, and those that are just around to bring you down, you just got to move on, man. There's too much to, to be done. <laughs> That's right. That's very true, my friend. Very true. Wise words, right, guys? That's right. <laughs> we might get those uh, stamped on the wall in the studio, man. Those are wise words. Right. Oh, jeez. All right. Put a nice frame around it. Well, good deal, John. Well, dude, I will be reaching out back out to you. We'll get you back on when the other thing drops at KHDK. You can promote it. We can come on and talk about it and um, touch touch base then. What do you think? That's cool, man. I, I look forward to it. I'm really happy to hear that things are going well for you guys and the show is growing. And keep it up, and uh, I'll come on anytime you want. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I, yeah, I know Dan's trying to trying to do the closeout thing here, but real quick before we go, uh, yeah. you know, without having you on previously and and guys like you in the industry, without you guys being gracious enough to be on our show, we wouldn't be where we're at. So I want to sincerely thank you for what you've what you've done to to be on with us. Well, and that's all. You're, I got. you're more. <laughs> You're more than welcome, and you know what? It's a symbiotic relationship. We're all here to help one another, yep. um, and that's really what it comes down to, and uh, that's what we do. Yes, sir. Good. All right, Dan, I'm sorry. All right, man. Well, I good. stepped on your toes. It's all good. It's all good here, man. <laughs> well, John, thanks again for coming on tonight. Um, from the Guitar Gurus, we'll check in next time with you, man. Good night. 
All right, man. Have a good one. Rock on, dudes. All right, man. Peace. Peace. Love that guy, man. John Vitale, man. Could you hear that in his voice tonight? How he's he sounds like he's so energized. He's in the zone, man. He's living he's living his life the way he wants to. And he's he's doing what he wants. Right. And he's helping other musicians out. And that's just it. That and I'm serious, man. Everybody that's listening, if you're confident and you have your stuff together, contact him. And, and if something's out of place, he'll tell you. He's not going to say, oh, you know, you know, he's not going to blow sunshine. He's going to tell you facts. Right. So be prepared. <laughs> it's, it's, not all, it's not all roses, man. Sunshine and rainbows. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no unicorns. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it's, it, that's the reality. So, But, but he's there know. to help. He'll help you develop relationships with manufacturers, with brands. Right. You know, um, you yeah. heard you heard the guys he's got on board with him. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Right, he's got players. Yeah, <laughs> so. and he's not going to BS you. Not at all. So, John no. Vitale, thank you again for coming back on this show. And uh, well, what do you think? I think it might be time for. Uh, you want to do the two for Tuesday shout out? Yeah, it, that's it's spontaneous. Let's do it, man. It's it's, uh, it's so spontaneous. I haven't had a chance to check the list. I think you should be okay. My handwriting is not that bad, oh, but it is bad. I think we're okay. You think, I think so? Yeah, I know we're okay. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Well, two for Tuesday shout out time. Brought to you by Dan and Dan of the Southern Maryland Guitar Guru Show. Any sponsors want to get on board, here's a chance. Right. All right, so I'm always going to say this at the beginning. I do this every week. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, for in- involving yourselves in what we do and being a part of it. This is your chance to be a part of it. Here we go. All right. All right. Two for Tuesday shout outs. We've got JC Moore, Rob Blake, Jay Shade, David Higgins. Chris Berry, Brent Robbins, Angie Walker, Jerome Malsack, Mike Stacy, Trish Galliano, Lisa Watts, Jesse Adams, Jason Mitchell, Christine, happy birthday, Brenda Markham, Cassidy Greer, and a special shout out to Lucy Berry. May you recover nicely from your surgery. There it is. We are wishing you the best here. So, special shout out to you. Thank you, everyone, for the likes and the shares. Uh, what else you got to say about that? We love the fans here. Yeah, we do, man. Without them, it's not possible. But actually, it is possible because I per- we produce everything. But we love having <laughs> we love yeah. having y'all. Well, I mean, if nobody's listening, why would we do this? <laughs> it's just reason to drink beer on Tuesday night. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so <laughs> we're having a good time. Yeah, well, we're drinking beer. <laughs> so. What do you want? You want to take a quick break or what, yeah, man? Um, yeah, let's take a quick break. Get reset. Get Daniel Hill on the horn. Yeah, that'd be good. I can't um, wait. Ollie's Barn Grill Soundstage phone system has been cranking all night with these calls. Um, Man, what a great interview by John, though, man. I'm John, just reflecting just, back, man. Uh, you know, let's talk for a minute about this. I can't quick. really just thank him enough for the, the, the time he gives us. And I mean, this guy works with world-class people right but he's that genuine of a person that he understands how it works to just try to be there for everyone right he's talking to me and you a couple of yokels in southern maryland well that's because i developed a relationship with khdk in the beginning right and, and he hasn't forgot that. Right. So that's that's why I got the Warrior Goal Screamer, the the 15-piece deal right there. Yeah, and I bet you there's a picture of it right now on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just gave you more work to do. Well, I just, yeah, because it's going to be in the other spot, too. Yeah. yeah <laughs> well, maybe yeah. I, I'll i probably put it in the first spot, not this spot. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, cool. But, yeah, he's a great guy, man. And like Dan said a few minutes ago, seriously, if you've got your stuff together, and you really feel confident about what you're doing, hit him up. Hit him up, man. Um, He's very sincere. He threw his email out on this show. Right. And I know a lot of guys are on here on Facebook where our show is. Yeah. His name's in the story in the, in the episode guide. Just click it and send him a message. And you can. 
So there it is. There's yeah, another I mean, way. I he's mean, not hiding from anyone. No, I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, there it is. I mean, Just, wow, man. It's like he talked about, like, I'm, you know, I wasn't playing and now I'm in two bands again. It's like, yeah, I just love that. I know, I, man. I love people pursuing their passions to play. All Everybody listening, everybody who's playing right now, bless you for that. Because you're doing what, what you want to do. We all want to play. That's right. And nothing should stop us from playing. Right. I'm in studio mode, man. I can't, you know. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I need to start playing again. But well, you know, you get you get to touch all those cool guitars every week. Yeah, I do get to do that. Yeah. So I just do what I got to do. But I love playing guitar. Record right. music in the studio, doing the show. You can juggle this show in a band. You can yeah. do it. It's getting to a rhythm where I could. You could. I just got to find the right guys again. That's true. So it, that's a whole process. It's like, I just don't even want to. It's like almost a. Yeah. Let's start a tender for your band. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. This ship has sailed. You like doing this. I like doing this. Yeah. Because hey, this get, is great. I still get to do all this, and then I still get to record music that I create. Right. And you it's can, my music. Yeah, so. you're not, you know, it's not like you're not doing that. You have the tools and everything you have to do that. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. Right. And it's cool. But I try to go jam with some guys, you know, went to jam at Mark's. It just, if you don't jam with guys and live humans a lot, you have you, to do you that. You lose often. that touch, man. Yeah, and I just lost the touch. And it's just like, do I want to go in training to get the touch back? And it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, now I'm good. <laughs> you know, I will one day if the right situation. Because it's all I need is solid three months and I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. We jammed a little bit at the house the other night. I don't. I think you might have left by then, but. Yeah. It was just acoustics, you know. We were being all hippie around the fire. But, right. you know, that's yeah. fun too. Just uh, yeah. sit around and just strum a little, pluck a little. Every night. Anytime you can pick anything up and play it for a few minutes, you got to do that every day. True that. I think so. Anyway. Oh, yeah, but definitely, man. Not because you may not, you may not need to practice, but just for the enjoyment of having the instrument in your hand and just playing. It, it's a big deal to me. I, I, I love it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Just jam. I'll chase my dog around the house with the guitar in my hand, just strumming <laughs> while she's going, burr, burr, burr. like, yeah, well, you like that? And I'm playing, running around the house, and yeah, she doesn't like it. Yeah, Murph does. She usually runs in here, just looks at me, and just rolls out. He's like, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see the comments right now. How many? How many of you guys? Your animals just go running for the corners when you pick up an instrument now. <laughs> right. Yeah, we need to. Um, Find out about the animals of all the guy, all the yeah. pets. <laughs> uh, I had a, a a little video posted up the last week where I was plucking some bass at the house, just playing around, and my dog was losing her mind. I saw that. I can't stuff. get any practice in at home. She just loses it. She really? hates it. Wow. I'm like, you're in the wrong house, <laughs> right? <laughs> she likes everything but that. And yeah. That's like a big. <laughs> yeah, I can turn the stereo up to 14. Play the acoustic. She doesn't care. She loves it. The bass comes out. It's boom, 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 boom. she's losing her shit. <laughs> They're weird. Dogs are weird, man. Sometimes it just has to be that way. Yeah. But wow. Well, you love them anyway, right? That's right. That's how you have to do it, man. So shout out to all the pet owners. Yeah, give us some hearts flying up on the screen for all you pet owners. Pet owners. We're yeah. all pet owners here, man. We right. love. We love them. Right, shout out to my two that I just lost. Yeah, we I wasn't going to touch on that, but, but since now, you brought it up. We got to shout out them. Um, shout out to my main girl, Tamika. She's she's the girl I found up in Annapolis that one day. She was here from since the beginning. Sad to see her go, but we all know it happens. But it was cool. Um, we were there. I got to hold her, so it was cool. I had my moment. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. And then we um, unfortunately lost Poochie two days later. God rest her soul. The, yeah. the handicapped dog from that never gave up. She never gave up. But this time it just, you know, the old age. And that's it, that's rough, man. It happens. Part of life. Yeah. I think maybe they, you think they might have been heartbroken together. That's why they 
we're so close together. You can, everybody can speculate on stuff like that. Yeah. And it makes sense. It I mean, makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, they definitely communicate with one another. They do. I mean, I see it here. I mean, we still got the two schnauzers and the Yorkie running around. Right. And they are, they're like a gang. Okay. You gotta watch <laughs> out, man. And of course, the Yorkies are running the gang. Yeah, <laughs> she of said, course. She sends the two schnauzers to do all the dirty work. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, I mean, we got them. That makes it a little bit easier. But, I mean, you can see they're sad. Yeah. You can tell, but, I mean... Well, we, we'll dedicate this episode to to those to those pet owners and to to me to, and Poochie. To, to, to and Poochie, man. Yeah, hey, Poochie. Yeah, this is their this is their night, man. Exactly. So cool. I don't know. I think we'll take a quick break. Come back, reset, get the mood going. Get Daniel Hill on the Ollie's Barn Girl soundstage phone system. Crank it out with him and see what's going on in his world. Because I look forward to this call. Yeah, I um, do too. He's got a ton of stuff going on. It's so much I don't even want to yeah. bring it up or mess it up. So Yellow Tie Guys is banned, and then he's working at a place called Alchemical Records. So it's going to be really cool to find out about those places. Yeah, this will be great. Hopefully he does all the talking. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a performer. He better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not good, at, if you're not a good talker, or you know, you're gonna be. If you're a musician, you got to be a performer. That's right. So get used to it. <laughs> no shy guy there. <laughs> so it's not yellow shy guy. It's yellow it's, tie guy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and it's cool. Big musical family. So yeah. So he's trained right. And I'm sure it's going to be an awesome interview with him. So can't look, wait. Buddy. Look forward to it. So yeah, let's take a quick break. We'll get back. We'll get on. And we'll do this thing. It's Guitar Gurus with Dan and Dan. What's up, y'all? This is Sam Grow, and you're listening to the Southern Maryland Guitar Guru Show. The Southern Maryland Guitar Gurus, the only guys that would do a live broadcast from Dog Man. We see each other through different eyes. Oh, yeah, man. The night is going down. It's going down. That's right, man. The show's fantastic tonight. It's a great episode. As always. Yes, yes. I'm I'm digging this one, man. It's Guru Nation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The the guys are still here. They're here with us. They so. are, man. Everybody's here. So we got one last guest to get on the Ollie's Barn Grill soundstage phone system. Daniel right. Hill. We're gonna get him cranking in just a second and, and get it cranking. So what do you think, man? Are you I'm ready. ready for it? I'm ready. Are you sure? Oh I'm I'm absolutely sure. Sure. A thousand percent. Really? I'm always ready. I don't know. I don't believe you. How, how do you not know? I, I, are you serious? I'm here. We <laughs> talk to guests on this show. I'm always ready. <laughs> That's right. All right. I paid for the whole seat, but I only need the edge. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Get, let's right. get the Ollie's Bar Girl sound stage phone system cranking and get Daniel Hill on the horn. Right. We're going 3D right here. Too many Dan's. Daniels. Now. What? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Damn. We will have three on. <laughs> wow. Hello. Hey, Daniel. It's Dan from the Guitar Gurus. You want to go on the air? Hey, Dan. Yeah, I'd love to be on the air. Awesome, dude. Well, I got your mic hot. You're here in the studio. Um, I got Dan Albin, my co-host. Dan Albin, say hi to Daniel Hill. Daniel Hill, how are you this evening, sir? I'm doing well, Dan. Thank you for having me. It's man. a room full of Dan's. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a 3D, man. 3D. <laughs> yeah, we are in 3D. It's confusing real quick. We want to thank you for your time this evening, first of all. That's what we do, man. Uh, thanks for having me. I thank you for yours. I think uh, I think it's a little like uh, everyone's doing the Lord's work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here serving the local musicians and trying to give them a platform to come on and promote their brand their band and what's happening with Southern Maryland in general. We got a guy that runs the, the newspaper down here. He comes on and talks to us every week. Um, and it, we're really making a difference for some guys out there. So it's real cool. Yeah. Glad to hear it. So um, what we do when we usually bring guests on for the first time, and this is your first 
time coming on is we we give you the first couple opening moments to bring listeners up to speed and to let you inform us of who Daniel Hill, the musician, is. So the, the, the stage is yours, my friend. Tell us about yourself real quick and bring us up to speed, and then we'll get into what you're doing now. Okay. Uh, well, I... I suppose uh, I wasn't exactly sure like how far to be prepared to go back in time, but <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I grew up in church and I was involved in performing, uh, you know, in church with vocals and, and instruments. Um, my dad was the audio engineer in our church for every service that I can remember growing up. Um, I performed as a band in a band as a teenager, um, recorded you know my first EP with my brother in my bedroom uh and back in 2009 i decided i wanted to be a full-time musician as a result of finding out i was going to be a dad and um instead of kind of running towards secure job safety i decided i uh, wanted to raise my kids in a house where they could believe uh honestly that when they grew up they could be anything they wanted to be um and the only way that I knew how to do that was to try to set an example. So that uh, that led to, I guess, like staging myself towards reaching towards a full time uh, full time like career or, or full time financial reliability on music. Um, I started working full time at RPG Diffuser Systems, building sound reinforcement panels, um, and then eventually I found myself at Hotlix Guitar Shop for two years. And after I was released from that employment, I went full-time rock and roll, and it's been that way ever since. Um, my dad started building VVT amplifiers when I was in my band as a teenager, and I've always had some hand in that, and honestly, like more, more involved in the last probably five to 10 years than, than before that. Um, when, when my band released the fir- our first record under Yellow Tie Guy, uh, I made up a fake record label uh, just to self-produce and self-release. Right. And that, that was Alchemical Records. And uh, eventually we just were looking at the way that we could make the biggest impact in the community. And as a record label, it felt kind of closed off. And so we have been working since I'd say August, September of last year. We've been working to really just re-represent the kind of impact that we want to make in the area as a music, news, and entertainment platform for Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. That's more or less uh, the short bio. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, I did my stint at Hot Licks Guitar Shop, and that's where I got to meet you and all your family through that connection there too so it's kind of cool to have you on the show in a in an official capacity like this so that's it's real cool how it all it's come full circle it's amazing what a small world it is dan it really is man (laughs) it really is it is man your your uh your your dad just fixed uh, a couple of uh custom uh speakers that i acquired recently from a guy in Philadelphia that died like 20 years ago. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool, man. I got to see the shop and uh, I went over there with our, our mutual good friend, Kevin Jones, you know. Yeah. Kevin Jones. <laughs> and, Love uh, Kevin, absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's like my brother. So it, it is a small world. And, uh, you know, I, that's all I got to say about that. But. Well, um, Daniel, when you when you go to alchemicalrecords.com now, what are what are people tuning in? What are they experiencing when they go to that website right now? The the two main things are not just that we are producing original uh, editorial or, or written content, interviews, and um, like previews for upcoming performances, getting to know the artists. Uh, we, we create some unique audio and video content, um, but we also share press that artists are already receiving. So when an artist shares with us, for example, that they've been on your podcast, that could be an item that we would share on our website. Oh. If, they, 
if they've gotten a review or a write-up announcement in the Washington Post. We'll send them to the Washington Post. We're just unashamed or unabashed. We don't. We're t totally happy to just be a platform where we can share that there are great things going on for artists in the area. Um, and we, we primarily focus on the Washington DC, Richmond and Baltimore regions just because it helps us kind of keep a close feel for, for the environment or, or the region. Uh, if you don't narrow down a little bit of what you want to do, then all of a sudden people come to the site and they might not know what we're about. So we wanted to create a little bit of confinement for us to, to do something unique in the region. Uh, we also have a full calendar of events, so we we have fully integrated the Songkick API, and anybody that keeps track of their shows on Songkick, you'll see all the national act shows at all the major venues. You'll see all of the indie artists that have gone through Tourbox and filled out their calendar. Uh, we also have an online radio station, so artists can submit tracks to be played to an international audience. And then those are really the key features we have presently. They they exist. Wow, that's really rad, man. Good job, man. That's really cool. Where we're yeah. kicking our show in Southern Maryland, your website's doing more of a regional-based music, so that's definitely something that we can partner up with you with, man. That's cool. Absolutely, and uh, even before uh, I coordinated to be a guest with you, I, I'm excited to... I'm excited to find out how we can promote the show more because of the work that you're already doing. I, it's There's other kinds of podcasts that we've featured throughout DC, and I think that I think that as we grow, we'll have more of an ability to house a number of, of podcasts, like at least through a very quick uh, link referral where you can just see that somebody's got a new episode available and be able to click on it and listen to it or or even some people they they've cut the episode but they'll put it over the top of a still image so that way they can upload it to youtube so there there's a lot of different platforms and and resources that people are using besides just uh mp3 or wave files or or traditional podcasts in order to to get the word out and so we're always trying to figure out the best way to to highlight a number of people at the same time. Yeah, we got us. Yeah, I'll, I'll be contacting you. We can do something cool because we have a YouTube page set up with just the way you described it. And um, we can also help out the Southern Maryland Chronicle because they host a page for us. So we could just do hyperlinks like that. It'd be real Fantastic. easy. Real easy. Real easy. <laughs> That's well, Southern Maryland is, has been a tough nugget to crack. There's a, a few artists that I've worked with over my time in Southern Maryland, and there's uh, some new players, but then there's a lot of people that get started, and they have a lot of momentum, and, and they quit making noise in the area, and so a lot of my, a lot of my contacts seem to be very come and go like the tide. You know, I, I agree with you, uh, Daniel, that this is a tough nugget to crack down here but i i also have a very good feeling that it's a we're on the verge of being able to crack it finally to its full extent there's something going on right now down here with all the talent and everything i don't i i really see something happening here i'm gonna say it now and i you know five years from now you may say i'm wrong <laughs> <laughs> but i think i'm gonna be right on this one Dan, there there has to be something special in this particular spot of the world. I mean, Southern Maryland has, uh, if nothing else, in it created an environment for creativity. So whether it's the, the painting aspect or photography or, or music, there's just so much creativity in Southern Maryland. Uh, and it's really, uh, it's really fantastic that opportunities through technology have allowed more of us to come together yeah uh i've always been really happy with what Anne marie gardens has done to to make a one cohesive like house that everybody can come be a part of yeah so I, I, i've I always agree. tried to support those efforts gotcha man um 
So what's up with Yellow Tie Guy, man? Where 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 are y'all playing at? What's what's the plan there? What what do you have going on in the near future that you want to tell our audience about where they can come check you out? Well, the the big news for Yellow Tie Guy is that we're currently staging a series of recording sessions in a variety of studios in Maryland, DC, and Virginia. And of course we have our, our eyes picked on a few in Southern Maryland. Um, both of our records have been completed in uh, more or less La Plata in the past. So we've always been really, really excited to show off the recording te techniques of the engineers here in Southern Maryland. Um, but, but we're looking to do a project that is uh, showcasing studios and producers and engineers throughout the tri-state area. And so we're recording a number of songs at a variety of studios. Um, this Friday and Saturday, I'm offering tour support for a DC artist at uh, Zapow in Asheville, North Carolina. And I'll be in Castleburg Brewery in Richmond on Saturday. And I have a number of solo acoustic shows coming up in May. I'm going to be at the USDA Farmers Market in Washington, DC. And that night I'm in uh, Solomon's Island at the Lighthouse Restaurant and Dock Bar. And that's uh, May 24th is both of those dates. The band has uh, the full band, which is sometimes a four to a six piece these days, uh, <laughs> is performing at the Bungalow in Chantilly. Uh, Chantilly, Virginia on June 14th and Market Commons in Clarendon, which is in Arlington on July 11th. Clarendon's great, man. It's a, a great, fantastic that's spot. That's a great area, man. That's cool, man. So what? what's your current rig, man? What kind of setup you jamming, man? What, what, what kind of gear can we expect to see? Well, it probably won't surprise you that I use VVT amps. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I would be offended if you didn't. I'm sure you get a really good price on this. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I get, I get the good guy discount, which, you know, if you've ever heard about the good guy discount then you have to talk to my dad but but i get i, I get a good guy discount <laughs> but i i primarily these days play through a 15 watt night owl it's uh it's got a 10 inch speaker it's got just enough headroom to keep me out of trouble at small venues but lets me use the natural overdrive of the amplifier mm, cool it 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 just gets to a point where it doesn't get any louder. It just gets more saturated, and uh, and that can be a really beautiful thing to do. I'd like to have with you at a small venue if it needs to get louder. It can go through, a, you know, a PA system. Sure. Uh, but I, I before that, and and still use occasionally my my forty five watt Lindy Frayling combo. I use that for big outdoor shows, or I use that in the studio when I'm after a particular tone. Sure. Okay. That's beautiful. Guitar-wise, guitar I, I still have the same Strat that uh, my dad bought for me when I think when I was 15. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a Mexican standard Strat in, in, in a cherry red. Right. And uh, I have one that is pretty much just like it that I got on a trade. Uh, so got a more of a darker crimson color, and those are my two primary guitars that I use in standard tuning. I use a uh, Vox SC55 uh, for songs that I wrote in an open D tuning, and it has a special combination of string gauges and, and a bit of an unusual setup. Oh, that's cool! What 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 do you do with it again? <laughs> Let me hear this. <laughs> so it's an. It's an SC55, which is a Vox version of a uh, of a Les Paul. Mm. It has some really unique body features that make it just very comfortable. Um, but it's tuned in an open D. I, I tune it D A D D A E. Okay. And it creates this kind of melancholy drone, uh, almost bagpipe-ish, and it really lets you uh, play around with the fingerboard and always kind of resolve with D. And uh, I, I wrote a handful of songs in this tuning originally because I didn't really know how to play guitar all that well, so I just tuned the guitar to something that sounded good and I could play with one finger. Right. <laughs> and and the songs that came out of it are, are pretty unique, but uh, they, they 
they certainly feel more complicated than just uh, you know one finger type chord structures. Right, because the sound of this, all the strings going. I get it. Get it. That's cool, man. Um, what kind of pedals do you use? So I'm using uh, a Whitfield DUI Overdrive pedal, uh, and I'm using a old-fashioned Boss Tuner, Boss Chorus pedal. Right. And uh, I'm a big fan of the MXR uh, Carbon Copy for for delay. Yeah, that's a real nice. Everybody's using that pedal. That's a real popular one. It is a good one. That honestly is the full extent of my rig. I I try to keep it as simple as I can because it's way too easy for things to go wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Wise words. Right. (laughs) Keep it simple. (laughs) Wow, man. Well, before we get out of here, um, what else foresee a, what else do you foresee in the future going on that, that we should be made aware of what other kind of inside nuggets that you do you have as far as uh, like specifically to Southern Maryland yeah anything or anything at all yeah. well uh, I, there there are two projects that I under or started undertaking with the alchemical records that I'm, I'm really proud about and things that I think will be really exciting for uh, the region. I'm shooting a TV series in a in five different locations throughout the year that is going to feature songwriters and bands from around the region. And we're going to try to use those five different filmings to allow us to produce 25 different episodes basically featuring each of those artists and we're going to pitch them to major distribution because we just have no cooth <laughs> i commend you for that you should not have cooth just do it just do it nice man that's real cool i'm glad i asked now yeah this is great information man this is what we want to hear so how are you selecting the bands to be on it so I put the event together with four other Washington, D.C. area uh, producers, Jenny Hill, Eli Lev, Gabrielle Zui, and Justin Shapiro. And we each have a bit of a say in all of the shows. And then we're also individually hosting one of the shows. So oh, wow. there, are, there are going to be events that we're all at just because, but we really are trying to have key roles in planning and developing the the live events that are going to be where the the actual filming is taking place i'm working with a um, audio engineer and guitar player in a band called stone driver and so stone driver studios is actually handling all of the filming we've got our next location at songbird in washington dc on june 7th and that's uh, going to feature uh, some artists that I can't quite reveal yet because we're still waiting on some details. But we're Ooh. we're ready to do announce these artists as soon as I have uh, the final details to be able to to send to them. Cool, man, dude, that's awesome, man. Good good for you for the hard work on that. I mean, I just figure if we get if we get to the place where we have a pilot and we can pitch the show and we get turned down, then we'll find outside funding. You know, we're just not uh, waiting on having all of the answers, to be honest with you. We, we think it's worthwhile. We think okay. we can make something happen, even if we don't, if, if, even if we don't hit the moon, you know, we'll land, we'll, we'll land on a star that's worthwhile. <laughs> and, uh, and that's, that's a big, uh, one of the big, biggest projects of 2019 that I, I'm doing just to try to set Alchemical Records apart. Yeah. and create some really unique uh, a really unique impact for the region to, to highlight the music scene that exists in, in the greater Washington DC area well good good for you man and you're doing a good job with that and I think it's a brilliant idea it's worth a shot I mean why not go for it right and speaking of being shameless if you need a uh, an MC or any voiceover work for any of this production let me know I, I'm that there would- man 
<laughs> that, that would be fun. I, I'd love to find any excuse I can to include more people on the adventure, and that's a fact. That's cool, man. Yeah, I'm shameless too. So, <laughs> I, have you guys seen the comic book samples? No, no. So, so the the second the second big project is uh, I wanted. I've always wanted to have a physical magazine, uh, but to be able to do something regularly, as I'm sure you're aware, is just a significant amount of time and money resources. Um, but Free Comic Book Day is Saturday, May 4th. And so we developed issue zero of our free comic book, which we'll hand out to, um, through comic book stores uh, in the area. And that will help us to reach music fans without having it be in a format such as, hey, buy my record or, or buy a ticket to my show. Right. So we have about 20 different artists. We're using things like uh, album art and lyrics. We have two or three full editorial pieces. We have a model in the centerfold. So, you know, it, it's kind of a bit of a throwback to the to the old music magazines. Yeah, we I think like it'll be that. a lot of fun. That's cool. Man. I like that. That's very nostalgic, and it speaks to a lot of us. I, that speaks to me in a big way. I like that. We're doing a, f a free digital download for people who join the mailing list on the website. I'll, I'll be happy to email you a full copy so you can check it out in advance. Yeah, we, w we would love to see that. That'd be cool, man. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, man. we appreciate you doing that for us. Absolutely. Well, cool, dude. Well, we got one more question for you before we let you get out of here, and it's our signature question. We call it best gig, worst gig. You can answer in any order you like, but you got to answer both. So what do you got for the gurus tonight? So I'll give you my worst gig first because I'd love to end on the positive. Sure. Um, my, my very worst gig was a show that I did in New York City many years ago. I had ended up on a bill with, I believe, four other bands that I didn't know anybody in. There was nobody there for sound check, and I was the opener. So I performed to the bartender and the sound engineer and and uh, we made the most of it, but it was a very significant amount of effort to get to the gig, uh, to get the gig, <laughs> and, and it felt like such a downer to 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 be in New York City and, and not have uh, any of my audience there at that at that particular show. So that was that was a, a sad a sad show for me. I get it. I get it. The worst time I ever had was in New York City too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just, if you're in New York City enough, that might be a story, a common story. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can relate, brother. So thank you for sharing that. Right. <laughs> well, my my best gig, it was actually one of the, the first gigs. We had uh, the CD release party for the first full album was uh, Joy in the Morning. And we did that, that release show at Baltimore Soundstage as part of a 98 Rock noise in the basement event right we had an opportunity to be on air with matt davis and promote the show the night before my munchkin was so little that i was able just to take her in the studio and i believe she fell asleep on on the couch in the in the recording room and you know so that that particular show has uh, a lot of memories and there was a lot of different bands from a lot of different uh parts of our our family and friend network that came out it was my sister's birthday uh, so it was a really powerful and, and yet also a really intimate experience and it, it will it will always have a strong connection to me for for the people that were there and the people that for example were in the band at the time who aren't playing with us right now and it, there's just a, a lot of memories tied to that particular that particular show wow that's cool man that's real cool yeah that's a nice memory thanks for sharing that with us thanks for letting me share it yeah any i mean that we we love hearing the, those kinds of positive things here man i recently did a show in atlanta i, I had gone down for the day i drove down 
took a nap, played a show, drove home. But at at the venue, which was kind of housed in an unusual strip mall style location, the person who worked next door had just lost uh, a loved one. And as she came out the door, she was holding a violin. And so I was able to convince her to play violin with me outside after work. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> right outside of this venue and and you could just see what that experience meant to her especially under the circumstances and, and I think that music has a, no better it is like the, the most best equipped to to deal with creating those kinds of opportunities and being able to very quickly change how people feel and and think and move forward about their day yeah yeah. That's that's extremely wise. That is, those are true words, my friend. True words. And I'm glad you had an experience like that. I I just wish everyone could have that kind of experience, even if it's only for a few minutes, because it will move you for the rest of your life. It, it's strange to say because anybody who wants to do music full time is going to run into just so many. A hard choices or difficult decisions or, or a balancing act of, of things that they, they want to achieve but very truly after 10 years of doing music and having one of those every year is probably enough to make you feel almost uh, I don't know evangelistic in a way like you're in the right time and place and, and you're able to meet with somebody and impact them personally one-on-one -on -one and and know that that is an occurrence that's happened and it's amazing what that can do to just recharge batteries and inspire you as, as you continue your rock and roll journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right, man. That's very inspiring, man. Yeah, very Thank inspiring. You. Cool, man. Well, Daniel, thank you for coming on the show tonight. Um, Thanks for having me. I'm really so excited about the work that you two do, and I, I'm looking forward to finding more ways to, to stay involved. Yeah, man. We're, we're a big community down here in Southern Maryland, like you know, and um, every, we're just here to help bands and brands and everybody promote. <laughs> yeah, like you know, like it was said earlier, like you said earlier, we're, we're just here to try to help people. We're, we're not getting anything out of this other than this, to be a vessel to try to help people do you know have a platform there's right. no there's no ulterior motives with us we love do it we love sitting around here and talking to people we enjoy it yeah we do and i can tell and that's that's what this is all about so like you said earlier you just wanted to be able to contribute and give people a platform to expo you know get out there and be exposed and you know so what you're saying and what we're doing, it, it all aligns together. Our values are the same. And that's uh, right. And if we get just, you know, nine, eight or nine more of us, we're we're golden. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, man. Just this multiply. is yeah. This is a this is a thing. Something's happening here. I already said this. Something's <laughs> happening did. here. <laughs> yep. We're gonna crack that nugget, like you said. It has been foretold. <laughs> that's right man well cool deal man well we will definitely reach out to you in the future get you back on hopefully have some good stuff to talk about and um we'll catch up then what do you think sounds like a plan all right man well from the southern maryland guitar gurus daniel we say good night and thank you good night thank you both all right buddy all right bye bye there it is man yeah man what a cool dude man very cool dude yeah, I very intelligent young man. I mean, he he knows. Yeah, you know. Every time I dealt with him when I was at the shop, strictly awesome. Yeah, and you know, I've been in there a few times when he was working there. Okay. And his his level of service is it's incredible. Oh, he he had great skills. Great. He is a people service. person. Yeah. Still, he he's a genuine person. Well, that's why I'm throwing great. that out there. Oh yeah, that's he's a performer. Yeah. I mean, that's you got to be comfortable. But, uh, with, you got to yeah. be comfortable dealing with people. You do, but at the same time, you also have to be a genuine person. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he is that. Uh, I 
100%. So, 100%. Yeah. So we enjoyed having him on. That was a pleasure. And now that we've got him on for the first time tonight, you know how it's going to go. We'll get him on again, and then it'll just be more comfortable and more of this and more. And then the next thing you know, it's just rolling. Right. Well, I had to dig a little extra with a little extra yeah. questions, and more stuff came out. So that yeah. was cool. So yeah. Gotta, he threw a lot of good information about what he's up to. And, right. You know, that's great. So, Alchemical Records. That's a cool site. Dude, he's doing good things. Yeah, definitely, man. Man, that was cool. And he's running himself ragged with all them shows. He's grinding. He's a grinder. That's right, <laughs> man. Just grinding it out. Um, Yeah, man, what a show tonight. Great show. Wow, man. I love it. Everybody hit their points, man. Oh, of course. Uh, no one's going to come on this show without being prepared. <laughs> well, you heard what Daniel said. I've checked you know, but I want to make sure I've got my answers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool, man. Everybody just is really good tonight, man. Yeah. And we, you know, we can't thank our guests enough uh, for taking their time out. The time is precious, man. It really is. And they're spending it with us. And the people listening are spending it with us as well. So thank you all for all your time and precious time. Exactly. So let's let's give a shout out to David Higgins, Higgy on the Beat, Southern Maryland Chronicle, doing his thing first up, then Sean Kirkpatrick and Sean in 60 Seconds. They're our show regulars. They're here every yeah. week putting in a time with us. Much respect for those guys, man. Much respect for those guys. Committing to the process. Yeah. And being here every week. That's a big commitment. Right. Ever since we started doing this show, all these amazing life curveballs have come my way. <laughs> of how am I going to navigate and make this work, get here Tuesday, do the show. And those guys have stepped up and they've been here every week. So my hat's off to those two guys. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. I respect it. Yeah. I know I know what it takes to be here every week. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Look at your life curveballs. Yeah. That you had there in your, with your, your dental work. Oh. Right. Look what you did. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then I had it. And then... Yeah, it's just, it, but it just hit on the right days where it didn't interfere with the show. It's like, it's like that should not happen. Exactly. And, it, and it's we've just been rolling through, man, and this is really cool. Yeah, we're 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 very lucky, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's hitting, man. So, I'm I'm I feel, I, I I don't want to use the word blessed, but I feel fortunate. Oh, I feel big time fortunate because this is this is a great spot to be in right now. I mean, the, the the scene around here has has the mojo right now, I personally believe. Yeah. And it's only going to get better. Got the mojo. Right. And, and and just having, you know, having this outlet here for the band to come on and, and have a way to promote shows. And we're building the audience so they, they have someone to talk to. Yeah. And the more and more different artists we have on, it just, it's always going to grow because they're going to have their core fans go, you got to listen, you got to listen, I'm coming on. And and I see it. We see the growth. Yeah. And do, do we? On a week-by-week week basis, it's, it's just growing. It's cool. We love you all, man. This is cool. And then all the positive feedback we've been getting has been awesome. We yeah, yeah, I will say that. It's been a lot of positive feedback. There has been... Knock on wood. Right. It's, it's been positive. It's been positive. And that's why we love this community so much. Yeah. Because everybody's great. They all support each other. Right. But yeah, big... Sh- There's big no sh- BS with that. No negative crap. Right. We look out for each other. Right. So big shout out to Southern Maryland Chronicle Local Business. Yes. Island Music Company in La Plata Local Business. Guitar of the Week segment. Yep. Um, Spoon's Barbecue for doing the pre-show meal for us. Local awesome. business. Local business. <laughs> Ollie's Bar and Grill doing the soundstage phone system. Knocking it out all night long. Yeah. Uh, everybody's together down here. And we've, we've networked it together, man. And it's just really cool to see everybody rallying behind us. You can't, you can't beat it, man. Nope. Can't. Nope. Not at all. And, um, you know, then John Vitale came on again tonight. Yeah. I talking, love that. Talking We're- everything like what he's got. That's cool. The repeat offender, John Vitale, 
Fired up, full of energy, man. Living his life, enjoying his life. Exactly. Everybody enjoy your life. Exactly. Please. And, of course, we just hung up from, with Daniel. Yeah, and you, that guy. You, he's there's busy. A, busy. I don't even know how he sleeps. So. I don't know. He's got a lot going on, but you hear how positive he was because yep. he's loving what he does. Yep. He's happy, man. If you do what you love, it doesn't matter how much of it you're doing. It's not going to feel taxing on you because you enjoy it. That's right. Just get out and do what you want to do. That's right, man. Life's too short. You have to do it. Right. Get out there. Make that phone call. Ask for a show. Yeah. Um, Reach out. Try to collaborate with people. The answer is always no if you don't ask the question. (laughs) Yeah, definitely got to ask. Dude, me and you both, we've been doing this 23 weeks in a row. Right. Because we love it. Mm -hmm. Do what you love. That's right. Because we're not guaranteed anything, brother. Nope, not at all. But I'll tell you what, I I really love this Wayne Johnson in the background. Yeah. (laughs) He is getting it, man. He does it right. We don't give him enough shout outs, man. I know. Wayne Johnson, his instrumental CD, Atomic Tsunami, is phenomenal. Everybody should check it out. God, it's good. Just get it. It's just the greatest guitar (laughs) work you'll hear for a while. I really really felt like we had to mention that because we listen to this all the time here. Right. It's, It's awesome. Good stuff. That's so good. <laughs> yep. So shout out to Wayne. And I'll put it in the episode guide too. Please do. So well my buddy Kirk Speed, he Speedy does uh, the intro stuff. Yes, yeah, he's in he's in the earlier uh, And then segment. shamelessly I put my band material behind. Yeah, that. I get it. Yep. <laughs> and if you get tired of hearing any of this, send some stuff in. We'll right. play it for exactly. God's sake. Exactly. <laughs> um so before we get out of here, we did dedicate the show to my two dogs that passed. Yes, we did. So Tamika and Poochie, we're thinking of you. Shout out to them too. And then yeah. shout out to my beautiful wife, Trish. It's just hit hard home to just pass week with her. And yeah. know, rightfully so, these, these are our babies. <laughs> so. They they were a part. They're a part of this show and, and everything because we do it here. Right. So it's a weekly thing seeing them. Right, I know. It's so, kind of weird not seeing them right now. Yeah, so shout out to my wife, Trish. Yeah. We all love you, and, and we, we're, we're praying for you. So good for her, man. Yeah, you guys are you guys are uh, handling like champs, man. Yeah, just putting the time in, but real on a, on a, we'll leave on a high note. Yeah. And this is how I'll leave it. Before all the tragedy struck with all these incidents with them, we all took a... F- big trip up to the um, Arboretum in Washington, D.C. And what's wow. cool about that is you can just drive through. Yeah. So Trish rode in the back seat and we had all the dogs in the back seat with her. And we had all the seats laid down so everybody could see one another. And everybody, we just drove around and just checked out all the stuff there. And we didn't have to get out because nice. I'm always scared dogs going to run away. So yeah. I didn't mind driving up. I'm with you on that. So we took all one big family trip up there one last ride together so that that made it just a little bit easier yeah so great whew. man that's great so it's all good we're just out about a time um, yeah uh next week man <laughs> just keep cranking along man keep cranking along we'll be here next week as we always are faithfully and the uh, guitar gurus were 23 episodes in I can't thank everybody enough. Love you guys. Yeah, man. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye-bye.